I'm Spencer Hughes, and I'm always up for a good adventure. Today I decided to set out right down the bumpy road that I live on to go see Randy Netherland in Belfair, just a couple of communities up from where we live in Grapeview. Randy Netherland is one of the county commissioners for Mason County, Washington, and I had heard that he and his son had opened up a food trailer. I had tried it out, actually, and I was so hungry right now I could smell it, or at least I thought I could smell it. But I was still several miles out, so probably not. I was probably just smelling the seafood that was still in the bay. But soon enough, I'd smell it firsthand. First, I had to drive through the beautiful little town of Allen, one of my favorite communities in Mason County, and making my way up to where Wise Guy's food trailer is in Belfair, Washington. And I was very, very excited to go back again, and this time to sit down and chat with Randy about what his impetus was for starting the food trailer, starting it with his son, how things were going for him and for the business, and what the community thought of Wise Guys. Because surprisingly, Belfair doesn't have an Italian restaurant to speak of. Very, very interesting indeed. You think there would be. Belfair is a cool town, and it's always great to see new businesses crop up in Mason County. Ever since the recession, and of course COVID, many businesses devastated in this small community. So here I was about to pull into the White Barn. The White Barn is a home and garden center. It's a cool little store, and they are nice enough to rent some space to the wise guys. And here I am pulling up. I could smell the food from here. There's Gus off in the distance waving at everyone with his pasta is love sign. I love that guy. And I really enjoy waving at him, although I never get the feeling that he waves back directly at me. Now I got a chance to sit down and chat with Randy Netherland. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. How long have you had this and how did you do all the conversion and everything? It's beautiful. What is it? Is it like a it's Airstream? An, yeah, it's Airstream style. I had somebody work on it and make it and put it together for me. It didn't cost me more money because I have friends and, and people that I've been working with for years. I negotiated with them and I got this cheaper than you could a regular one. And uh, they put all the conversions and everything in, everything stainless steel inside and out. And it goes with the motif, the idea of the wise guys. We'll have Italian music out here quite often uh, just playing in the tent and uh, it's all based on anybody that looks at me can tell I'm Italian <laughs> and uh, what, because of the commission I wear the suit all the time and people are always sure. making a reference to being you know a wise guy or something and that's why we call yeah. it wise guys <laughs> well it is awesome and um, how did this idea come about it's a great idea a lot of people are doing this now my son actually worked at a little restaurant down here in Allen and he was doing a lot of work there and he was having fun with it and I was working with him to try and get him to go to college he didn't want to go to college and the idea was if we pull something together to help him to move forward I think being an entrepreneur is one of the most important things you can do. It teaches you a lot in life. I've been an entrepreneur since I was in high school. I had three businesses when I was in high school, two wow. for the arcades and shake and shingle mill. Wow. But I lived by myself. I was on my own. Uh, I thought it was important for him to learn all the ins and outs of being an entrepreneur. And so we made a deal. I'll put this together and he'll work it. He can work it three days a week and still stay home while he goes to college. So this way I get a college education out of him. He gets his degree. Sure. He has a job that keeps him here at home. I think it would be awesome if my son and his family grew up here. Here, sure. Uh, where I did. Yeah. And this is an opportunity to do that. And I can assure you, him being in there cooking and taking care of all these people, he's getting a connection with them all just like I have. Uh, you can't feed people and not get a connection with them. Oh, yeah. It no, goes absolutely. hand in hand. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And a lot of happy faces here, uh, for sure. There's always a line of people. You're, you say you run yeah. out of stuff sometimes earlier in the day than oh, you're quite often. posted hours. When we first started, we had a goal because I sit down and we we do a cost-benefit analysis, try to figure out the best way to go about it, how to set our prices. As you can see, our prices are extremely low compared to like a restaurant, but we don't have that overhead. So selling a lobster Alfredo with a whole bunch of lobster over the top of it with uh, a soup and garlic garlic bread for $15, but how much profit do you want to make? Sure. It's always, making profit is good. I'm not meaning sure, it that way, sure. but how much do you really want to make? So the goal was we would break even, could do 20 plates a day. We'd have a good day at 25 and a great day at 30, but he'd make his wages and everything else at 20. We have days where we're doing well over 100 plates. Wow. And that's why we end up closing down. We just can't, this is a, a food trailer. You can only store so much. I go out and I run and I bring other stuff back because I create the stock stuff in, in the evening. Bring it all back. You just can't do it enough sure. to service that many people in five hours. What would you say is uh, like your top two most popular that you saw? Absolutely. The top two seems to be the Lobster Alfredo, 
But the number one that just seems to bring people in is something we call swim, the Swim with the Fishes. Swim with the Fishes is a, a clam chowder bread bowl with uh, lobster and shrimp and scallops dropped on top of it. And people really love it. Uh, uh, it's just something that just gets their juices going. But we have something called the Sloppy Al Capone. What Which, is that? That is a, a roll with meat sauce and Italian sausage, a lot of Italian sausage and peppers and onions and, uh, and mozzarella and Parmesan all stuffed in there. It's kind of our version of a sloppy joe, but with Italian sausage instead of hamburger. Wow. And people that's like love a, that. That's like a secret menu item because yeah. it's not on there. No, there's quite a here. few things that are secret menu items. Is that items. right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll put it on as a special, but it's always available to them. Many years ago, I was a port commissioner before I was county commissioner, and we did a survey. And it was a huge, I think we had like 1,800 responded. Wow. And the two things that they wanted the most was a Taco Bell. I know that sounds weird, but that's what they wanted. <laughs> A Taco Bell and Italian food. Well, back then, I went out and, and uh, went to the owner of the franchise and got him to bring in the Taco Bell. And that's how we ended up with that. Wow. And all these years later, I thought about doing this because yeah. I'm Italian and this is what I eat at home. We're making the same stuff I eat at home. So with uh, that, uh, when we started, I looked around and I couldn't find any uh, Italian food trucks. So to be honest with you, I didn't think it was going to work. If we just make stuff we love, we get to see our friends come, it's going to be successful for us. Remember, all I... I structured it so all i needed was 20 plates a day well it That's turned awesome. into a lot more than that and like i said we get to see a lot of people a lot of friends a lot of <laughs> when i feed you see me when i feed them i'm happy i love feeding. oh yeah right now the whole industry has gone crazy if you try to go to buy they buy a i have a friend who has another restaurant and he used to go and spend 18 dollars for a box of hamburgers now it was 42 dollars wow. uh, the same thing with his chicken his chicken just went through the roof my pasta has two, but my pasta went from a dollar package to a dollar forty-two. But if you yeah. see, even though percentage-wise that's a lot, but it's not. Seafood hasn't seemed to gone up hardly at all. That's interesting. So I, that I haven't had the same problems everybody else has yeah. because I just I, I wish I could say this was so damn intelligent, but it was because I this is what we want to do, and we got lucky, and the yeah. whole world is not shifted when it comes to the seafood and stuff. Wow. And clam chowder. You know, the funniest thing, that's actually one of the more expensive things to make. you think it'd be the lobster. Uh, and I didn't even know how to make clam chowder a few months ago. We sat down and taught ourselves how to right? make it. Yeah. And it turned out to be people just love the clam chowder. They just come wow. from all over to get it. And like I said, we didn't even know what we were doing. I think it takes passion over knowledge. I mean, and you certainly have the passion. Do you agree that, I mean, you have to have the love for it? And like you said, this is stuff you would cook at home. So. Yeah, and when you're doing it with your son, that's quite a gift. I, I don't know. I, yeah. I happen to like that guy a lot. So <laughs> it works out really well. <laughs> Tell us about that big dummy out there. The dummy the, being the uh, the one in the chef hat yeah. uh, with the pasta is love sign that's waving at everybody on Highway 3 here. You actually yeah. have people that... Oh, they, they stop uh, and they'll pull over in the cars. Uh, one time we literally had six girls get out of the car. They're all going around him. And I had to stop him because he's mechanical and he moves. And they're trying to hug him and they're going to break him. So I go out there and ask him how they want me to range him uh, yeah. so that they could all take their pictures with him. But people do it all the time. That's and really funny. I'm surprised you haven't heard anybody honk right now because they will. Honk. Yeah, but he's actually got a, a little bit of a story right here in this location. That he's got a name. His name is Gus. Uh, I didn't name him. Thirty years ago, he was in this same location when this was a music store. This was a music store. Yeah, there was where, a where music the store right in the right. Wow. In the, it was a it was our post office, and at one point it was a music store, and uh, it was DJ's music, and he's a gorilla. So uh, I got this whole gorilla suit that sits over the top, and he would play the drum, and that's he was here thirty so years he was ago. A gorilla, he was in a gorilla yeah. costume, and I still have the gorilla costume and everything. Uh, he was underneath it. The wind took him out and busted him all up, so I had to rebuild yeah. him. That's why he's got a different head on him now and stuff. But I still have all the costume. Funny little story, though. Uh, we put my suit and stuff over him to be wise guys. He was, you know, like a mafia guy Yeah. Uh, before the wind got him. And uh, on one Friday, it was really windy, and his pants fell down. And here's oh, all no. these hairy legs, and everybody's honking. And, Is that right? Yeah, they, they, they thought it was casual Friday. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Did you, and there's been people who have actually thought he was a real... Oh, right? <laughs> what, one of my favorite posts. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's this one lady that posts. She goes, I'm not going to go there. Uh, they've got a guy out there waving signs that's killing people. He's not wearing a mask. He's killing people. Don't they know how bad COVID is? Oh, my and goodness. And we went on there, and people were 
trying to figure out if it was just serious or heart attack. And so I went on there and I posted, I assure you, he's not going to kill anybody. He's an animatronic robot. He can't give you COVID. He can't get COVID. Yeah, yeah. And then one of my favorite posts came right afterwards. Well, is he single? <laughs> yeah. He's the safest guy in the county. Yeah, well, he and he was wearing a suit. He's all dressed up. Yeah. He good. But yeah, that's Gus. Uh, 30 years here. Wow. That's really cool. When she heard that I was doing this, the lady that had him said, I want him to be there. And so she gave it to me. Yeah. Well, keep up the great work. Keep up the great quality. And uh, I can tell you're having fun doing it, too. So I am. That's the main thing, too. I love when I post on there saying, hopefully I'll make your tummy <laughs> yummy or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because people feeding them, it, it is a true blessing. It really is. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Randy. Uh, best of luck to you. Anytime, and thanks for chatting. Anytime. Thank you.